love to participate of the soul itself. It is of the same nature. Like it, it is the divine spark. Like it, it is incorruptible, indivisible, and imperishable. It is a point of fire that exists within each of us, which is immortal and infinite which nothing can confine and nothing can extinguish. We feel it burning even in the marrow of our bones, and we see it beaming in the very depths of heaven. When love is fused and mingled two beings in a sacred and angelic unity, the secret of life has been discovered so far as they are concerned. They are no longer anything more than the two boundaries of the same destiny. They are no longer anything but the two wings of the same spirit. Love, sure. The future belongs to hearts more than it does to minds. Love, that is the only thing that can occupy and fill eternity. In the infinite, the inexhaustible is requisite. If there did not exist someone who loves, the sun would become extinct. What a grand thing it is to be loved. What a far grander thing it is to love. <clears throat> my beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Dear family and friends in Christ, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Mary, Daniel, wow, what an opening. <laughs> what a procession. What a day. I know you wanted a Star Wars theme, and you have the theme song coming in. But why did you pick the ice planet Hoth? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to admit, I have done weddings where it's been over 100 degrees outside. I think this was the coldest <laughs> wedding that I've done outside. You even picked from the Song of Solomon the idea that spring has come. Arise, my love, my fair one, and let's get out of here. <laughs> the spring has come, the flowers are here, but it's still one of the coldest days <laughs> of the year outside. But really, this gathering is for a happy occasion. It is a celebration of love, as you had from the, the readings from uh, Victor Hugo and Les Mis. Your love developed over time. It started out, you met online, you got to know each other a little bit better, you went to that hockey game, you had that kiss on the train, how many drunken frat boys are we up to now? <laughs> 500? It was five. <laughs> That's part of the story of your life. And it's a story that doesn't end yet. It's a story that continues. Four months is the first time that you use that special word. Love. At nine months and 30 days, the almost surprise engagement <laughs> at Biltmore in North Carolina. And 
And since that time, you've been preparing for today, preparing for this wedding service, picking out the music, the flowers, what you were going to wear, all those preparations that bring us to now. And there's so much to do and prepare for that it can become overwhelming. Then there was this week, the itinerary, the rehearsals, the Christmas party, the picture. <coughs> and now, here we are. You've gathered your family and your friends to help you celebrate on this wondrous day, to help celebrate your love together. I'm honored to have been asked to help as you make those vows to one another that will join you as husband and wife. But there is also another special guest who is here today. God is here as well. We gather in this Christmas season, still basking in the glow of the Christ child, God's love. <coughs> sent to us in human form as a gift, a sacrificial love of all time. As we gather together to watch you make your vows, each and every person who is here has an important part as well in your story and in your love. For you're not doing this just by yourselves. As we stated earlier in the service, we are all <coughs> here to pray for you, to help to sustain you in your life together. You can call on us in times of need. You can off we offer our prayers with yours that your love will last for a good long time rest of your life. For as long as your story goes on, your love continues. Our prayer is that through watching your love, we may also catch a glimpse of God's love that is offered to each and every one of us. Your story continues as you, at the end of the service, walk down the aisle hand in hand onto the reception and into a brave new year. This day will go so fast. So enjoy it while you can. Celebrate and be prepared for all that the years will bring to you. All that is in store for your love. May your love continue to grow as you live into the story of that love, beginning today. And may God continue to bless you in your lives together. We pray this. peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Everyone is invited to share the peace with one another, even as Kerry and Dan also share the peace. Go to it. <laughs>